Hey guys. Um, just thought it'd be kind of cool to repeat something that I've shared to you before that really is super important uh, regarding health and happiness and dreams and showing to you my experience last night and since I started promoting and started finally, finally getting around to um, wearing blue blocking glasses as per such this so we're looking glasses from sundown, from sunset time to bedtime. I've, I've said this before, this is really fucking transformational for your health. Stopping junk light coming into your eyes and ocular system. These happen to look cool and cheap. They're type in drapers. If you're in the UK, they cost £6. Drapers, blue blockers, and um, DeWalt's if you're in the USA. They do look fucking cool. I don't care though. Whatever. But yeah, if you wear them from sunset. Not to, um, I literally did. I've been sometimes because I've got iris on the computer, which is another thing I'll promote soon. I have iris, which is very important. Iris is really important because it removes the red light and it stops the flicker too on my laptop. I've got it on, not on this one, I've got it on my laptop. So sometimes I won't wear when I'm looking at my laptop and working and talking to people, networking and Zoom, doing interviews late at night. I'll wear the um, I, sometimes I won't wear them off, wear them. But last night, even when I was having the iris, um, the people I have the iris I have this non-stop from like sunset time on till bed and what it does what it did for my dreams last night my god man y y you guys have to understand the number one there's a couple of reasons why people are forgetting their dreams at night time including people in the health community who complain they don't remember their dreams they're all they're all linked to physical health things that you are not doing all of them so if you're into physical health or Ordinary people, yeah, forget about them. They don't, they don't give a shit, and they, they'll tell you they don't remember their dreams. But you guys, come on. You should all be remembering your dreams at night. How? Because... I was sporadic. One second. Yeah, I was sporadic with... um, I was sporadic with this. And now, I've, since I've committed to it in September, and last night, non-stop, even with the iris on, I was just wearing it non-stop. Last night and this morning, I remembered every single one of my dreams when I woke up. And do you know what's cool about remembering your dreams? You become... It, it brings you more awareness. I think that's why dreams were designed. Dreams were designed for us to bring the subconscious into conscious awareness so that for people that are self-aware, which I think was designed for every single person to go on a growth journey in duality. Every single person was designed to go on a growth journey in duality and learn lessons and to have dreams and to remember your dreams. So yes, if you don't remember your dreams, you are still dreaming. Please note that. But it's very cool. I've got to tell you guys, it's so fucking cool to remember your dreams. What happens is, after I remember the dreams last night, it lingers. That feeling of thinking about the dreams afterwards and how it all makes sense. And that lush, warm, cozy feeling of having that dream lingers for minutes and minutes and minutes after. And I've got to tell you, it's so beautiful. Um, to, as a self-aware person that we are, to see, oh, that dream makes sense. My dream might not make sense to you because you're not inside my head, right, with all my unique graphic experiences, but when I have the dream, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. And then I get to linger and bathe it. It's like, um, I guess, being in a bath, you know, and you're just lingering in the waters or you're in the scene, you're just lingering in the moment. Long after you come out, you're like, yeah. It's exactly how I feel with um, dream recall and what's going on when I protect my eyes which are my most important, your most important photoreceptor of light is your eyes. Let me tell you as well, junk light is way worse than junk diet. And junk diet's not good. So imagine what junk diet, what junk light is doing to you. Especially blue light. Yeah, even incandescent bulbs at night for dreams. They're not so bad, but, but they're not great either. Because this protects you from everything. Give us the red. I can only see red with these hardcore pairs. I'm literally looking at sunrise, sunset permanently at night time. It's either that, or I go to bed early as soon as it gets dark, and I'm a normal guy, so I don't think I'll be doing that at 4 p.m. That's two hours away from now. I won't be going to bed at 4 p.m. So as a result of society and the bullshit lights, what I can do is I can wear these, which are fucking cool. And my dreams are so fucking awesome, man. You want to trust me? You want to remember your dreams? Yes, dreams are going to help you even if you don't remember them in the simulating you learned today for the unconscious. Another realm that's really fascinating to me is sleep. Definitely, I've said this before, read the book. Buy the most greatest book on sleep ever written to date by Matthew Walker called Why We Sleep, in which I'm reading for the second time now, and I know I'm going to be reading that like 20 times. There's too much information in that book for me to assimilate fully. 
It's one of those books. I fucking love sleep. And dreaming. It's good. I haven't even got to this dreaming part yet the second time around. It's fascinating. Dreams and sleep fascinate me, and I love them. I learn so much about my future and where I'm headed. Sometimes I have dreams of um, what I'm like now. A lot of the times, too, I have dreams of what like in the future. I'll give you an example. Um, a few days ago, I had a dream about my, one of my real fly fears in my real life that I'm consciously aware of is I'm scared of heights. What I'm doing in my dreams, late, uh, one of them dreams a few days ago, I've had these before, is I, I tackle my heights in my dreams. I tackle my fears, my daytime fears. I tackle them in my nighttime. But when I tackle them, I don't freak out. It's not fun. I won't say, when, I, when like in my dream, I, there was like a, I was climbing some shit and I could have fallen at any moment. There wasn't a fear I was going to die, but at the same time it wasn't fun, so I recognised that as a conscious fear I have, but I was tackling it in my dreams in a kind of cool way. That's what dreams are there, I think, are for. Dreams are there to learn lessons of who you are now, but also to help you to prepare you to a better future and teach you about yourself in case you are one of those people that lies to yourself. Oh, by the way, if you do lie to yourself like a normal person in, in, your, in your waking life, dreams will be kind of useless, uh, you know, because you lie to yourself consciously. They're only really relevant to us, I guess, because we are... You know, and our ancestors, because very few of the ancestors would have been lying to themselves. With nature, lies and lack of self-awareness only comes from moving out of alignment with nature, in my opinion. Okay, I've gone around in circles. Really, what I want to say with this is, one of the most fabulous. I made videos. I'll keep doing it. One of the most fabulous things you will ever do for your he health, yeah, is stop looking at junk light at night time. It's okay. I'm, I'm doing it now. I'm looking at junk light. It's okay. I have to be on social media. I don't want to wear this 24/7 whilst I'm awake. Look, there's sunlight outside. I've got the window open cool but i mean if you did it just from sunset from your sunset time to the time you go to bed the windows and especially by the iris um which costs 15 dollars by the way and i i can give them to you a lot cheaper because i've got the code for it too so i can sell it to you a lot cheaper but anyway that's another story i won't promote them yet but the blue blockers you should be buying them and these are hardcore pairs your orange are cool these ones give you better results yes they make everything dark red as a side effect so if you when I these, you might, I struggle too, if I don't know the area, you know, if I do know the area sometimes, it doesn't let everything, it's very dark red, but if you're in an environment like your home where you know where everything is, you can look at everything dark red, I look at the TV dark red, it's just one of those things, because it's more important to me to get good sleep, it's definitely making my sleep better, but it's more important to me to have dream recall and to bath in the, to have those dreams and to be aware of my dreams and to bath in those dreams for long after I've had them, to remember them, and then to, re to, to the good feelings that come from me, no awareness of my dreams and knowing that Oh shit, this is where I am now. Oh shit, this is where I'm going to be in the future. Because my dreams often foretell who I'm becoming and who I want to be. And then I walk into that in years to come. It's way more important to me than bearing my bearing my eyes. It's like being naked. Not that being naked is bad. But it's like, yeah, you don't want to bear your, your bare eyes to um, junk light at night. And we're in winter time now. So now it gets dark in, in Northern Hemisphere. And it gets dark early. So you really don't. Um, it's such a high price, and let me tell you, yeah, junk diet is bad, like I said, but you, you do have junk light. Jack Cruz, uh, Matt Maruka, uh, Ben Greenfield, who else talks about it? Aubrey Marcus, Luke Story, all these guys, check them out on YouTube. It's very obvious that junk light is way worse than, than diet, and it's actually costing people health. And I don't mean obvious symptoms like eye damage, I mean like, literally, the inability to have dreams, the inability to have a deep sleep. It's fucking up with a load of shit, and yes, it will be. There'll be more information on in the future. For now, just know that junk light at night is really destroying people's health, and nobody wears blue blockers. Um, and if people do wear blue blockers, by the way, you res um, at night they do it for the whole night. They'll put. They'll still expose their eyes to blue light. Um, and and I've learned now, you know, they say to put it like an hour or two hours before bed. Um, um, don't look at blue light or put blue blockers on one hour, one two hours before bed is the absolute minimum. But actually, I've done that, and I if even if I look at like five minutes before bed only the blue light, it fucks up my dreams enough. So really, it's you if you want the ultimate health, you have to be a bit puritanical and extreme with what you do. While it's not pushing it on people that aren't ready, I mean for your own life and your own self, just as I do. And I don't care if what what else many what anyone else does. I'm only telling you an excitement that you can a start having a much deeper sleep, and ultimately sleep is a fucking magical process. We should always be like truly maximizing it. And yes, in health, health can you worry too much because we all get your sleep anyway. But yeah, you're fucking up your sleep definitely by looking at blue light at night. I care about that, so we're getting blue sleep, and also I care about people dreaming and remembering their dreams and becoming more self-aware through the dreams and knowing what they are in the past, present, and future through their dreams. That I care about, and that's why I talk about it. Because I know how good it feels for me to bath in the light of, God, that dream was amazing. 
I fucking love this shit. I fucking love my life. I fucking love my waking life. And guess what now? Now I know my dreams are, I love my wa I love my sleeping life too. It's pretty sick. Thank you, blue blockers. Yeah, such a simple six pounds in the UK. It's life changing, isn't it? Light. Holy shit. Oh, another pretty bad one is car lights at night. Absolute disaster. Street lamps, car, car lights, um, going into shops um, without wearing blue light protection. I don't care. Blue light from TVs, blue light from your cell phone, uh, blue light from your laptops, blue light from your tablets, blue light from your fucking everything. It's bad, isn't it? It's bad shit. Mika, nice. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Yes, oh, Charles, mate, that book is amazing. Matthew Walker, Why We Sleep. My God. And also his YouTubes are fucking phenomenal. Um, that guy is going to be the guy for the next 10, 20 years, 30 years, and right now, on it, on sleep. He has a way of explaining things in a simple way, was also, he's gone deep. Also, I love him so much, you know, and he can explain things. A bit like me, I can, ex I can go deep a little bit, but I can explain it in a simple way because I'm a simple person. I think Matthew Walker is very similar. Also, he's really funny too. Uh, you'll like his personality. He's got a bit of humour to him, which I don't, uh, which is awesome. Yeah, definitely Matthew Walker's one to look into for sleep. Um, David Asprey, by the way, was the one that, um, uh, in a podcast, because his book came out recently, I can't remember which po Broken Brain podcast, he said that he wore the blue blockers when he goes up in the airplane, when he goes on airplanes, you know, with the high EMFs and very dangerous environment, he wears the blue blockers, he's wore the blue blockers two hours before he goes on the plane, in check-in two hours after, and he said he got a super deep sleep, because he's got an aura ring that tests for sleep, and so that made me think, oh wow, so I should be wearing blue blockers non-stop from sundown to... To, as an experiment, um, from sundown, from lights out to bedtime, see what happens. And it must be making my sleep deep. And yes, it does. And it makes my dream recall so fucking easy. And, and I love it now. I love my dream life. And I love my dream life because I love me, really. And I love where I'm going and who i become. That shit. And you will, too, because you're proud of your journey and how far you've come. So you get to revisit how awesome you are and where you're headed and how much you've learned in your dreams. But you won't have those dreams if you don't wear blue blockers from sundown to sunset. Another thing quickly that will stop people stop some normal people having dreams that might be for you or not might be relevant fluoride as soon as i got rid of fluoride two years ago from my toothpaste i stopped taking fluoride toothpaste one of the first things i noticed was my dreams start coming back so that's key also second i'll say on on top of blue blockers uh fluoride free third doesn't matter what you eat as much as don't eat anything at night that will fuck up your dreams too so i eat one meal a day and i eat the midday but that's kind of extreme i guess to some people so just try and extend your, don't eat at night time. Definitely don't eat midnight scat, don't eat before bed, try and get, if you do one hour before bed, try and do it two hours and work your way slowly. If you eat two hours before bed, do three hours, if you do three hours before bed, four, four hours. Also, eating food at night time will stop the rise of melatonin. And also, I haven't even covered that topic because I, I haven't really focused on it for a long time. And although it's true, guess what that will do if you wear that from sundown to sunset and you don't eat too much during, either you have an early meal or you don't eat too much at night time. Please, um you will start making melatonin, which is a whole different topic, um, which is another powerful hormone that no one out on the outside of the mainstream is actually making, which is anti-cancer, magical, antioxidant, repairs the mitochondria, repairs the eyes, and yeah, it's wonderful. It's absolutely a really important hormone. And also, if you're in therapy, you, in the more, first of the mornings, you'll find lots of melatonin too, if you do the protocols like the blue blockers, yeah? And that melatonin can be reused. So, gotta, gotta love urine therapy for the ultimate supplement drink, and taking in that magical shit. Ah, mate, I've got duck and oil and glass. Yes, Vix, get on it, man. That's that's a game changer. And actually, do you know what? They do they these ones do look pretty sick, the drapers. You know, I'm not gonna lie, they they look alright and but I still I don't really care. I still wear them if I didn't. But you know, the ski glasses, whatever, let people laugh and I think you're crazy wearing sunglasses at night time. No no no, these are not sunglasses. As um Ben is it Ben Greenfield said in one of his podcasts? Yeah, it's I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it's Ben Greenfield. He said these so long as you can't control your light environment, these blue blockers are a necessity, not an optional. You can't control your light environment, and we can't. We're surrounded by blue light, shitty light everywhere. These are not optional. These are a necessity. I know that sounds extreme, but yeah. Oh, Charles, yes, lucid dreaming too. Well, that's the beginning. First stage, you've got to remember your dreams before you can get to the stage of lucid dreaming. So I think it all starts with protecting your divine light, the divine sunlight. In protecting your eyes because people think it's all about in the health community will say oh yeah they'll know about sunlight and the benefits and god knows i do too i, I love sunlight i've got to research way more on it more information to come out you're going to write another book on sunlight so it's important two things for health getting more sunlight of a day into your eyes and ocular system your eyes being the most important for right to the sunlight right get outside it's number one number two 
unfortunately, because of where we live in, we have to focus on avoiding junk light. It's not just about getting more nutrition of sunlight in the daytime. At nighttime now, we have to avoid junk light. And that's where blue blockers come in and take control. And it's the cheapest, most magical thing you'll ever do for your health that costs a little bit of money. Because, yes, these are not free. But, yeah, junk light is more, more damaging than, than junk diet, then. It's more effective than eating good foods. Well, I don't know. Just thought of that as an analogy now. I wouldn't say that, but it's fucking powerful, let me tell you. Anyway, yeah, another video, another one. I'll just keep going on this next year. <laughs> on blue blockers and dream recall. And, my God, you want to be remembering your dreams. Your dreams are fucking amazing, people. You know, they fucking are, and they'll teach you a lot about yourself, and you can bathe in that awesomeness of who you are right now, how far you've come, and who you're going to be in the future with these dreams. And you can also, so maybe some dreams to you don't make, every one of mine seems to make sense, makes a lot of sense, I don't know, that's just me. But I hear that people say that there's dreams that don't make sense, well guess what, when your dream recall goes up, now you can start learning about yourself, and think, okay, this, I've had this dream, I've had this dream, now you're remembering them with this shit, okay, what does this mean, then you can start working out and finding yourself, and it's a great area of self-discovery and self-exploration, dreams, that's where our ancestors used to do, probably, they used to, sh definitely, they used to share around a campfire in the mornings, with the children, the grandchildren, oh, what was your dreams last night, what does that mean, yeah, they used to do that, why don't we do it, because no one fuck remembers their dreams, and why does no one remember the fucking dreams, because we're surrounded by blue light, it's a conspiracy, not just to make us unhealthy, um, on many levels, yeah, but actually to start remembering our dreams. How's that? The junk light was put there as conspiracy to stop you remembering your dreams so that you lack the self-awareness. Because dreams will help you, but if you're not aware of them at a conscious level, you can't, you'll can't. you still assimilate that into your brain, I guess, and become it, but it's way cooler to share these experiences with other people and try and work it out at a conscious level in the waking state what the fuck your dreams are. Okay, on that note, thank you very much.